Tell me more about this note. Uh, well, we know about this note. This is something that was actually found on his body. He was carrying it with him, handwritten three to four pages in length. And what police are saying is that it was a conversational note. They took great pains. You heard the police chief there saying that it was a farewell note. They're not characterizing it as a suicide note. That remorse that he expressed about his father and his brother, almost more brief mentions. He took lengths and lengths to say farewell to his friends, Brooke. That's how police are characterizing it. A disappointment for investigators, though, is that it doesn't reveal as much as they had hoped hmm. as far as his motivations. What about Kyung? What about the gun? We're learning he built this gun. How did he do this? Well, this is certainly going to alarm a lot of people, especially here in the state of California, where the laws are considered to be quite tight, especially when we're talking about these type of weapons, what you're looking at right here. Take a listen to what one of the investigators told the media. What I'm saying is you can buy legally certain parts. It's called an 80 percent. You can buy those those parts and you can buy a, an under receiver, the over and the under. You can put them together with a trigger group and you can manufacture your own gun if you make some adjustments. In this particular case, uh, the weapon that he ended up with ultimately is one that by definition would be illegal to possess here in the state of California. The police say that he basically was able to buy these component parts through various magazines, via the web, and the components themselves are legal. That 80% gun is legal. But once you assemble it, there is a way to make it illegal in California where you can hurt so many people. One other thing we should mention, Brooke, is that in 2011, Zawahi had tried to purchase a full gun. He couldn't. He was rejected on the background check. Uh, the Santa Monica police estimating that that's because of some prior co connection, some prior contact that they had with him in 2006. A man who should not have had a weapon still able to buy the component parts and build something that could kill people in America. Mm.